Hello and welcome back to another episode of the 90 Plus 2 podcast. I'm Xander, your host for today, joined by Jamie Townsend. Hello. And Lucas Sperti. Hello. So in today's episode, it's obviously the international break. So we're going to be looking a bit at the England team and just talk about the up and coming friendlies before the Euros. So let's start off with the current England squad for, for these friendlies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We happy with it? I am now, now that Kobe yeah. Minu's in. Yeah. I wasn't very happy before. Happy to be in, didn't he? Somehow Henderson has managed to scam his way in again. Um, I saw online somebody said he must have naked pictures of Southgate, <laughs> which yeah. I agree. Because at this rate, um, I don't know how he's still making it in. Um, how old is he? he? Must be like 33? I think he's 30, 34, I think. 34. Yeah. Yeah. And playing and Saudi playing Arabia. In Ajax. Ajax. And I saw a stat where it's the first time in over 30 years that a Ajax player hasn't made it into the Netherlands squad. An yeah. Ajax player has made it into the England squad, however. So I think that just sums up just how ridiculous that is. Um, I genuinely cannot believe that he's still in there. Yeah. Um, and I'm really glad that Southgate came to the air of his ways and called up Mainu, especially after his, again, amazing performance against Liverpool on the weekend. So just look, obviously you talked about midfielders there. Mm-hmm. The rest of the midfield, we've got Jude Bellingham. Oh, that's a obviously. Gag. Obviously. obviously. He's got to uh, start better than him. Got Conor Gallagher. I'm a big fan. James yeah. Madison and Declan Rice. Yeah, I feel it's like very tight mid- Gallagher's oh. one of those where I'm, I'm not sure he's gen- like obviously he's not England's best midfielder, but he's like solid, isn't he? Yeah, you yeah. know he would do a job there. And centre mid's clearly a spot where we are a L- bit weak. We are lacking. To be honest. I'm a big fan of Gallagher personally mm. because I watched him when he was at Palace at United. I went oh yeah, and yeah. he was their he's brilliant star at player. And then even at Chelsea, box to box, he's he's a great yeah. player. Like you got to think about like just the things he does. He t- he never like his tire tireless running up and down. And you think you need that in the England squad for coming on, especially, you never yeah. know you're going to play against. I don't against. think he'll start, so no. I'm quite happy no. to have him on there as a squad player. Yeah, definitely. I think as well, we're just looking at the squad, as, um, the, in defence, a few different mm-hmm. names to what we've seen in recent times. Obviously, the additions of Jared Branthwaite, uh, Joe Gomez, and as we concert. I don't get the Branthwaite hype. Admittedly, I haven't watched loads of his games, but... I just I don't think that he should be starting at but all. Everything's a poor as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, like seeing people saying that he should be a starter, yeah. I, t- I don't get it personally. I don't know what he's doing for Everton though, because like they're not having a great season. No, exactly. And I think it's only because he's young as well that he's got over Tarkovsky. Yeah, yeah. Like realistically, surely. I mean, I, James Tarkovsky Tarkos- in the squad. Tamori? No, he's not. And I was surprised about that. He doesn't play in England, does he? That's why. Yeah, but I was very surprised about that though because I was um, watching the like the behind the scenes of doing the kit shoots yeah. this um, this morning and I saw Tamori and I was like, oh my God, he's not in the England squad. Yeah. I just completely forgot about him and then someone is mentioned... He f- he must, is he unfit at the moment? No, I don't know. Some, and then someone mentioned um, Raheem Sterling as well. Obviously, he's not uh, being nowhere near good enough, but no. I forgot he wasn't in the England squad as well. I would bring him, though. I really? Like their opinion because really? He's, he's Do you been, see that free kick on the weekend? Yeah, but like it's, a, it's one game. He's been there and done it. The Euros, the last Euros, we wouldn't have got anywhere near without him. Yeah, mm, well, yeah, he was unbelievable true. then. He, really he'll have to come into form. For so. England, like, I know it's like, oh, you've got to pick players in form, and Southgate really doesn't sometimes, but just to have the pedigree of you've been there and done that. Well, he started 2014, he's nearly had 10 years, so he's nearly yeah. had, what was it, about, how many tournaments is that? Four? Four? He's had 2014, 14 Cup, Euros, 2018. 18. This, is fifth, this would be his fifth England tournament. Well, yeah. I, th- I, I would be surprised if he went. Yeah, I did, I, it's a bit of an unpopular one, but mm. some of the wingers we have, like, Rashford, is he good for England? Well, the only thing is he's, he's been scoring again lately, so all yeah. you can hope is that he's going to come good because he'll be a really important yeah, player I if guess he does. Because so. he won't start over Foden, no for chance. me. I actually think the England squad, everybody's saying, oh, who's your England eleven? I think it's a lot easier than a lot of people are saying, to be honest. For me, we'll get onto that obviously in a minute, Yeah. but I, I don't think that, I think wingers, for me, is pretty concrete. And one thing I will say, you were talking about the defenders there, one position we are really lacking is left back. Yeah. If Luke Shaw's not fit, it's not looking good because well, Chilwell's now had a good season, has he? No, he hasn't. The thing is, I was talking to my granddad as well recently about it, and he said, "Is Mitchell not being called up from Palace?" Because no, I just don't think so. Just for versatility yeah. of just a left back, because one Shaw and Chilwell aren't even that good, and they're both horrifically injury prone. Yeah. yeah. So it's Shaw just, for England's really good. You yeah, can't deny that. Yeah, but the problem is injuries, and mm. just think. Do you want just a consistent left back that just like, you know, just to make sure that like if we need it, he can come in and he'll do a job. Maybe Rico Henry as well. Yeah, They're getting Rico overlooked, Henry. I guess. Yeah. 
just for someone you know that will do a job. Well, I like the fact that you're bringing up players who are definitely being overlooked. Yeah. Cause that's cause kind of the, the thing we're here for, yeah. isn't it? And that is kind of bringing us into the next part here. Which players do you think from this squad that we've got now will still be there for the Euros? And which ones kind of maybe do deserve to be put in there? Well, I, I don't know if Branthwaite will make it. It depends on injuries, I guess. Because mm. I feel like definitely, co like comprehensively, if they're both fit, Stones and Maguire should be the pairing. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, unequivocally, it's been for how long? Six years now? Six years, yeah, I think so. But they've been good for six years. Maguire always turns up for England. And he's actually had a good season, to be honest. I've yeah, got to say it. Running in behind the other night. Exactly. As well, I actually quite like Maguire, to be honest. Mm. And I have said that if he makes the squad, he's going on the back of my soccer yeah. 03 shirt. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan, if I'm honest. But as you said, for England, you can't knock it. Mm. I'm a fan of uh, Mark Gahey. I don't know why he's not been selected in the squad. Yeah, I, I would start him. I'm like, um, for the Euros, I don't know, but he's got to be an option. That we've got I'll friendly, isn't we? I yeah, think that's it's kind not of even the called up. Of friendly. Friendly. Yeah. Yeah. If there was a back three for England, I think could put Gahey in there. But he's never going to do it, is he? No, he's Obviously, not. as you mentioned, Jamie, um, I think it's a nailed on. I think basically four of the five in the obviously goalie in defense are nailed on pickford walker stones Maguire. exactly and then it's only the left back then where mm. it would be either if shaw's fit it's got to be him because he's yeah. got proven tournament experience if he's not fit then you're starting to look elsewhere you're thinking the likes of chilwell henry whoever else but i feel like those in defense mm -hmm. it's probably the only would you start trent i would play trippier left back Really? Trippy left back. Southgate likes him at left back. I'm all meant yeah. right back. Uh, no. Not over Walker. No chance. Walker is a uh, um, just like his consistency. He's rapid as well, and yeah. he can defend. Yeah. Trent just goes and Trent will just. Unfortunately for Trent, he can get distracted quite easily. Yeah. So I mean, maybe in some games you can bring him on because I know Euro, I know uh, cup tournaments are more you do sub more players on rather than Premier League. Like obviously it's the same amount of subs, but like. In, it wouldn't be in the Euros, you could easily just bring on a left back or right back six, in the 60th minute, which yeah. you probably wouldn't do in the league. So I feel like you could bring him on 15 minutes to go for crosses for Walker or for a centre mid maybe. But I, I don't know. I don't think him or James either. No, not James for me. No, really Again, James, I've no. seen people saying that if he's fit, then yeah. he's nailed on to start. I just don't see it. No, he's, I really he, don't see it. Even if he's fit, he's... I wouldn't say he's nailed on to start for England. I think... Not nailed on. No, no chance. Definitely no, not nailed I don't on. think... Is he going to be fit for the Euros? Is he fit now? He's not fit now, but no. I think um, Southgate said that he's still in contention for the Euros. So even if he plays like five games, yeah. would you put him in with his injury record as well? No, not on five games. If he had a good like, couple of month run to the end of the season, really built up his fitness, yeah. sort of got a bit of, he's a great maybe not really form, but yeah. like, you know, had a little bit of game time, then yeah, but... If he's played like a couple of games, I don't think it's worth bringing him in. Yeah, well, since we're talking about the squad now, obviously, then we move on to the midfield. Probably a more difficult selection is Southgate. Is he going to do the two DMs like he's done in previous tournaments mm. and then three, or is it just going to be three midfielders and then a front three as well? Yeah, I think it might be three midfielders and a front three. Yeah. I reckon it's more of a wingers than a midfield. Like, mm. so as Foden and Saka, as we, well, Spoiling that's front, what front three is nailed on. You exactly. can't not play Foden. Can no, you? Foden's he's, been amazing. He's lately. so ex he's the only player as well that Saka is a good player, but he's not exciting. If you know what I mean, like there's always there's always there's always that player that's he's got a, a lot of player, spark. Isn't he, Foden? Yeah, Gascoigne was the same. Yeah. Rooney even could do it. Foden's mm. that man for this England team that he could have an awful game and he could just cut in and bend on top corner. Yeah, and that's what you need. That's what you need. Every team loves that player. And Foden is our player. I feel that. like he's kind of taken the mantle of Rashford in that point, hasn't he, lately? Yeah. Because obviously Rashford was that player where he'd be drifting through games and then he'd bang out like yeah, a 40 yeah. yard free kick against yeah. Wales. Um, <laughs> so I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like the wingers is quite simple, to be honest. I know obviously there's the chat of, like we, we were saying before, Gordon, um, even potentially, like we said, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd bring Sterling, but you said it obviously. Uh, Rashford, um, who else is our wingers wise? Bowen. Bowen, yeah, that's a good one. But so yeah, what a question though. Well, yeah, Sterling or Gordon for the Euros? <laughs> Realistic. I know it's not a classic great pick, but who would? Because they'd be like, good off the bench, wouldn't they? Yeah, would you yeah. prefer Gordon or Sterling for the uh, off the bench? I think Gordon personally because I think he's got a little bit of that versatility where he can play across that front three. 
Whereas with whereas Sterling, he's kind of more limited to just that the oh, winger role. That's crazy. Oh, God. I might be <laughs> unpopular here, but Sterling over Gordon 100%. Uh, Gordon, I'm excited. Yeah, he's, one player we're actually missing out, Cole Palmer. Yeah, well, yeah. that's more the midfield, isn't it? To be honest, because yeah. he plays more of an attacking Because if you play or... like... Because dep- de- I think the midfield just depends on if Southgate's going to go two DMs and an attacking midfielder yeah. Yeah. or a three. So from p- previous, obviously, we've seen him play the two DMs. That should be nailed on if it's two DMs. It should be Rice and Mainu. Exactly. Yeah. At the moment, at least. Rice and Mainu over Bellingham. Well, well, he's not playing a DM, is he? He'll be playing in camp. True, yes, yeah, true. I would not. If I see um, Bellingham in DM, honestly. No way. Yeah, I'm going no. out. No, <laughs> that is not his hotspot. Look how many goals he scored this year. And it's yeah. not even just in the league, it's in the Champions League too. Yeah. There's no way he should be playing that far back. That is, that is like that would be like Southgate hampering at his finest if he plays him if in DM. If you play Bellingham in attacking midfield, we've got probably the best one of the best chances of winning the whole thing. Yeah, well, I reckon on paper, our squad is only second to maybe France. Yeah, and I, even, even then, I, agree. Honest, I think we've got an unbelievably strong squad. This is genuinely, I know obviously we did well in 2018, did well in, obviously made it to the final of the Euros, and even last, it was the year before, wasn't it? 2022. Yeah. Didn't do too bad. This should be it. it this yeah. is what it should have been building up to. We've now got these pieces of the puzzle who weren't there before, the likes of Bellingham and like Kane is still in the best form of his life, which is yeah. unbelievable considering he's doing so well at Bayern. Yeah, I really think that if if it doesn't happen, then again, the only thing is we've got good players coming through. Like we're going to yeah. have a strong England squad for a while, to be fair. Yeah, definitely. They shouldn't be struggling in these major tournaments. Like we had the doldrums days of like 2008, where we didn't even qualify and stuff Rough, like that. Yeah, 2012. Yeah, tw- yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't be down there in the mud again for a mm-hmm. while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if it's two DMs, Rice and Minor. If it's a f- midfield three, then you'd say probably Rice, Bellingham, and even could Gallagher. S- could still Gallagher, play Mine, yeah, but, but more of a Gallagher's more of a central midfielder, isn't he? So yeah. yeah. You'd probably go for that. I wouldn't be unhappy with Gallagher or Mino if I'm honest. I just don't want to see Henderson there. No. If I see Henderson lining up with <laughs> a captain's armband on as well, oh. I'm gonna. Henderson's never gonna have a cap. Kane's there. Kane, Kane yeah. 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 But I yeah. want to see Maguire with a captain's armband. <laughs> Maguire lifting the trophy. I want to see Pickford mate, walking out. Oh, the mate. passion. Short back and stomping. Yeah. The passion Pickford will get as captain, just absolutely shouting some some how weird and no one understands. <laughs> how weird? How weird? It'd be like Joe Hart. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what else would you have on there? Ben White. Ben White, yeah. Not no, for me. No chance. Not for me. Honestly. Well, not really um, more about Ben White for the England squad, more like him turning down a call up. Yeah, that was interesting. I did that see that. Because that received quite a bit of media hate. talk and hate. Mm-hmm. I think he's just. I don't think he should have deserved the call up anyway. No, exactly. <laughs> he's no. awful. Yeah. He's not a centre back. And he's. If you see Ben. Imagine being like Mbappe and Ben White's at right back. I'll be like, cheers, mate. Yeah, uh, bye-bye. Thanks, bye. thanks for the hat trick. <laughs> exactly. He's just doing his hair when the camera's gone. Like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It is a bit rich from him, the fact that he would even turn down a call a call up and he's like, yeah, I'm just doing it for the team. Arsenal ain't going to win the league, are they? Yeah, I don't think even... Imagine getting a call up <laughs> that you don't deserve and still turning it down. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting one from him because he's trying to keep himself fit for the, um, his club side, obviously. But are Arsenal even going to do anything this year? And how important is he to them, really? Really? It's not like Saliba, is it? No, like, exactly. No. If he was Saliba or, or if, it was, if it was Saka, then... Or Odegaard. Odegaard, yeah, oh, yeah definitely. Yeah. But Ben White, do you, can you remember a good Ben White performance? Like, do you ever <laughs> go back and go, come on, Ben White, that... Gr-? No. Yeah. When he was at Brighton or Leeds, maybe, but not... Yeah, he's he's quite an uninspiring player, isn't he? Yeah, he also <laughs> doesn't like football as well, so he's got my... He goes low in my rankings. Yeah, he is. That, he's one of those players, isn't he? He doesn't even like football. He just plays it because he's good at it. Yeah, like Ben or Asu Okoto was like that. Yeah. I don't know how that's... I don't know how you do that, really. Because no. they always go on about, like, when you do your career, like, a career. Yeah. You, like, make your career mm-hmm. something you enjoy. Exactly. Why, why do you still do it? Well, probably because he's good Money, enough. isn't it? Money. You probably... You get to live a lavish lifestyle by playing a g- playing football. That's... Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Somebody, surely you'd think by like the stage of playing it from... Because he must have been playing since youth level, at yeah. least, to come climb through the ranks and now he's a pro. It's unbelievable that he'd even come out and say, yeah, I don't even like football. And that's probably why he's rejected the England cap as well, because for some of these players, like Madison recently talked about it, of remember he used to go like around Coventry with his 
England kit on face painted for what basically like what we would have done for yeah it. exactly yeah. I remember watching it going down watching it like around the pubs or even sat down in my living room watching it with a whole family like England I, I would dream of getting an England yeah board. exactly so like I would never reject it. No, I don't. Yeah, not not for me, Ben White. He shouldn't even be in the squad in the first place. So, like mm-hmm. you said, the fact he's rejected is just a bit rich, to be honest. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we've obviously got the friendlies coming up, as you were saying, Brazil and Belgium, the two Bs. Yeah. Two very good tests, I'd yeah. say, because Brazil maybe I'd say that they're sort not of who they used to be. No, they've fallen off in Neither the Belgium last few years. Really. But and they don't um, have Allison at the moment either. The, I still think. Kira Edison, though. He's not in the squad. He's injured. Yeah. Yeah. He's oh, he injured. is. They're yeah. not Alison or Edison. No. no. It's just so so they have some Brazilians. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I left um, a bit. Yeah. So it could are. be a. I think it's still a good test. Probably for England as yeah, well. Yeah. Well, they've still got a really strong squad. They've mm. got the likes of like Casemiro, Gabriel Jesus, um, yeah. Bruno, Gim- Bruno Gimaraes. Bruno Gimaraes. Yeah. They've got a one player I'm excited to look out for in that game is Endrick. Andrew, Obviously, yeah. he's been called. He's like the reincarnation of Pele. Have you seen like the fits he wears as well? Yeah. yeah. Like it looks like he's from the 1960s. They're hyping him up in a really nostalgic way for the Brazilian fans. I really like what they're doing with him. Yeah. Mm. The only thing is, we're not even going to be able to watch it, are we? Because it's going to be on the way back from Cribs with Tavi. No. Yeah. Well, that's more important. <laughs> so. Of course. <laughs> if you if you're not, there is uh, Premier League this season. There's Premier League and League Two this weekend. Get yourself to a non-league game. Yeah, non-league day it is this week. So exactly. Get yeah. yourself along. <laughs> Get yourself to Cribs versus <laughs> Tavistock. So that's where the big big ones are. There you go. That's my call to action. If you can't make it to a league game this weekend, go to non-league. You might just find a club that you will love forever. Well, we've been to a few, <laughs> haven't we? So exactly. A few this week and a few. Obviously, last Saturday, um, two Saturdays ago, went to Wimborne. So yeah, I love non-league football. I'm really getting into it. I am as well, especially this year. I mean, how many... Well, obviously, as I do the media for Tavistock, so... <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, put that out there. And also, Jamie does as well. So, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, the, he's, the, he's the assistant. So, yeah. But, you know, well, what we, it's, a, it's a joint effort. But, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's really enjoyable. You go to so many grounds you d- didn't expect you'd go to. Mm. Yeah. So I've been to some great grounds. Bit of a tangent from the international break. <laughs> yeah, but it does link. It's all part of it. There's no it's all Premier part League. Of it. Grassroots, yeah. Grassroots, yeah. Well, I want to get. This is obviously on a tangent again, but I want to get your um, guys' thoughts on no football on TV when the international breaks on. Nothing, like looking on the games, they hardly put any League Two matches. Yeah. On. Mm. So like. I would want to watch a. I like League Two football. Clearly, as a Swindon fan. <laughs> but, um, well, I'm, I'm not sure if you like it as a Swindon fan. I have, to, I have to watch it. <laughs> but clearly, like, there's so many inter- League One and League Two. There's so many promotion chases, yeah. relegation things. Put them on now. I think there's one game on. Yeah, it's like stupid. Four of them on. How many League One games have been called off though because of international call-ups? A few. Because I think there's more and more, isn't it nowadays? Because yeah. players are, if they're like English, but they've got heritage elsewhere. They're more inclined now to switch, switch to that nation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Swindon don't play because um, Warsaw, we play Warsaw away, but they've got a few players from uh, Caribbean heritage. So they've got yeah. a few like, Montserrat yeah. players. Uh, I think their left back Gordon's from Guyana. So yeah, yeah. So we have a big week off, but we're awful. So <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably all right that we do have a big week off. But yeah, I don't know. International break. I'm not a big fan. You know, one well, special, special. Yeah, it's one of those. The one that I'm not really a big fan. Like friendlies is okay. Like when it's like nice big games like this. Yeah. And the Nations League. The Nations League. I hate I it. I find that ridiculous. I it's hate a ridiculous it so concept. Much. I, I genuinely because it's like it, it. They're like, oh, it just it's just taken over from replacing international friendlies. It's just more glorified friendlies when clubs could just be playing club football. Like if it's qualifiers mm. for like the Euros or the World Cup, that's fine. They're, they yeah. are painful though, still. Yeah, they are still painful. But obviously, you've got to give the smaller sides a chance to try and qualify. I know England absolutely like breeze through every time. Well, yeah. Not not every time in the past, but at the yeah. moment we do. But um, it's yes, also the nation, like the nation's league was shocking, and we di- uh, we're probably only saying that because England did so bad in it. You were relegated. Exactly. Well, yeah. I, I mean, even still, like I think it was Kevin De Bruyne saying like, the season's over, and then they've got to go do Nations League. Yeah. Like, that's y- bad. They deserve a break. Yeah. Because. Yeah. No. Exactly. It is quite intense playing football, especially for someone like him who's probably going to play like 90 minutes after 90 minutes after yeah. 90 minutes. Not this season. Yeah. Not this season. It's competitive football as well. So <coughs> they can't yeah. even take it easy because yeah. their fans seeing them just like strolling. Yeah, exactly. Like you, well, you saw the backlash when England lost to Hungary. What was it like 4-1 or something? Yeah. The yeah. backlash after that was ridiculous. That was, was that last summer? That must have been. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the summer before, wasn't it? But 
I can't believe people really take the Nations League that seriously. It's not a. No. I didn't even watch that game. It doesn't really equate to much. It's not like that. It's what you just win automatic qualification to the Euros, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Which England were already going to do anyway. Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) Now we're just in the League Two, is it? Or Group B, whatever it's called. League B. League B, yeah. And now we've got to play some more like heinous lower teams yeah so just, be, just play the weakest but it's yeah. good for some players I guess like players like as we mentioned Gordon yeah Palmer. see that is where the Nations League is where I'm not even sure I know you could say it's like half assed from Southgate or whatever yeah. that's where you bring in these players yeah. who, aren't, who aren't in the normal squad and give them a chance to shine or if it's not in like all of the games like I know obviously they do it sometimes when like we've got like San Marino yeah. and of like the squad of 23 that they call up the other 11 they'll give them the chance yeah, yeah, yeah. they mm. should be doing that in like the nation I think so as yeah. well, especially yeah. now that we're in a lower like a yeah. lower group yeah give some of the younger you players could, a chance you could play the under 21s and I think we'd still get yeah. promoted I'm like yeah. that's the group being serious our under 21s team yeah. is stacked because yeah. um, it'd be great yeah. to see like obviously we've said about positions that's so nailed on like striker goalkeeper Give Watkins, give Nick Pope a chance, for example. Yeah, Watkins does. Do you reckon so. Ramsdale will make the squad? Actually, that's a good point. I think he will, but that's purely because Nick you Pope have is, to, you have is to injured. Take three Otherwise, keepers. it's yeah. like James Trafford after that. He also plays for Arsenal as well, Ooh, which is a good. Jason Steele. <laughs> he's, he's just an option. Well, I mean, you, you genuinely have to take three keepers. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, at the moment in this one, it's. Sam Johnston. Sam yeah, Johnston. I was going to say yeah. Sam Johnston or Henderson as oh, well. Oh, Dean Jack Henderson. Butland Jack Butland is doing Jack well. Jack Butland should be in there. Yeah. He is I would, I'd have him over St- um, yeah, Johnson. Yeah, he should be in there. He's been doing really well at Rangers. Obviously, he's a good goalkeeper. now been knocked out of the Europa League, but I was watching him quite closely in that, and he was making some good stops um, in yeah. the Benfica game. They just got unlucky there, to be honest, to lose yeah. that one. But um, yeah, it's an interesting point. The goalkeeper spot, that is, that's the type of thing I'd do in the Nations League, where you bring through these yeah. Yeah, players. Yeah, players. Who we've been, who've like aforementioned. And yeah, like you said, like the under 21 squad, it'd be really interesting to see how they do. Because like Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones are in there, obviously. Yeah. Great players. And they can show that they won stuff because they won something last summer, didn't they? Yeah. When Trafford made the save in the um, shootout. Solid squad. What else have you got on the list for today? The kits. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. They are lovely. Nice. Oh, well, we've got one here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope it doesn't fall down now I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> 2016 Euros. Euros. So. Unfortunately, that was yeah. the one where we uh, got knocked out by Iceland. Yep. Bad but, game. Um, game's a game, isn't it? And yeah, then me and you have got the international kits on today. Yeah, got Sweden. I got this in... I think it was an Adidas store in Wales. Nice. I like that. Solid. Just one. Nice kit. Yeah, I just, I quite like, I feel like, I don't know, I just quite like the Swedish team. Yeah, it's bright, isn't it? I like yeah. a, I like a know, garish it, kit sometimes. It gives you, I don't know, it suits you. Thank you. Mate, the, blonde. the blonde. <laughs> yeah, he's looking like yeah. he's You're fresh like, off the IKEA. No one would question you. If you were like, yeah, it's my FC, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because actually, this was this was the shirt I was wearing in that video. You know, we were doing oh, that. Oh yeah. And I, and I went. I, I was like, Dan is hand, but I love IKEA, and then I go and hit the crossbar. <laughs> Play the clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most but. impressive thing you've actually done. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> this is the one I've got on uh, an Irish training shirt. Because of course, it's got the sponsor. I have uh, Irish lineage on my mum's side. Um, they are all from a gypsy background, so I mm. um, had to rep them. Uh, I wouldn't really support Ireland in any sports, but I do really like their green kits, to be honest. This is yeah. a vintage yeah. find. Their new one's quite nice as well. It is Yeah, nice, I do like it? that new one, yeah. yeah. Very nice Same kit. Of like and Luca, you're international. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm international. Swindon, not English. No, uh, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't have an international kit, unfortunately. So I've gone for this year's um, third kit. So yeah, as you can see it here, third kit from this year. It's a 23-24 season. It's a nice kit, got it for Christmas. Yeah, so. solid enough. I, I quite like, like the I badge like the on it. Kit. I like how it's purple. I like how they changed the purple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like a purple kit. It's a nice. It's like a something you don't see all, all the time. See, it's like a got a little bit pink on it as well. So <laughs> just checking him out. <laughs> You're not even looking into the check camera, mate. You're just out. checking yourself out in the <laughs> TV. <laughs> what can I say, mate? Um, yeah. Speaking of purple kits, the away kit. Yes, of yeah, course. Kind so. of purpley. It is a bit, isn't Purplish, it? It's like a yeah. burgundy. Type I like the bit on the dark. side, like the different colours. Do you like that, dude? Yeah. That's caused a lot of controversy. So I it's quite interesting like it. that you like that. It's not an England kit, though. That's one thing. What, because you want it to be red? It just, 
I don't know. Yeah. I like it. I like the change. I really like both the kits. The home I, kit, it's got like a really, a really I retro... I think they're the, they're the best kits we've had for a while. I'm a big fan of the home kit. I did really like the Euro 2021 with the centralised. Yes, I did like that. That was so nice. I think they're actually going to have the central number again. When Are they're, they? When they're like doing it properly. Big fan. Like, I really like the home kit. It's giving me proper like 1990s England yeah. kit. Yeah. It's really nice. I'm really interested to see what the print's going to look like because that's only been released in the last few days. Yeah. Obviously the, the kit was um, announced. When was it? I think it might have been... Thursday? No. Yeah. Thursday last, Thursday last week? I believe so, yeah. 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 And now it's been like the, the print for the Euros. Um, mm. But that's the only annoying thing. We were speaking about it earlier. You can't really go and buy a kit like that yet because you don't know who's going to be in the squad. No, yeah. that is true, yeah. So if I was to go and buy my uh, Maguire Eng- <laughs> England shirt... <laughs> he might not be in the squad. The GOAT, well, if he's injured, he'll yeah. be in the squad if he's there, but then what number will he be? Will he be number six, number two? Number five? Number five, probably, I would go for. Exactly. No, I think he'll be six, John Stones will be five. Yeah. But so we, we don't know. There you go, there's the debate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the thing, it's hard, isn't it, when, with international kits? Cause, yeah, um, there's no defined number. You think of someone like Rooney, he was 10. Kane's number nine. Pickford's number one. Yeah. Everything else is kind of up for debate. What number's Bellingham been wearing? Number seven? Five. Uh, he had eight, didn't he? Eight, yeah. Yeah, he was number eight. eight. He's five at Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like so, Zidane. So, yeah, go. true. I like that a lot. But yeah, I reckon he... I love Does he get the so ten? Much. Or does Foden get the ten? It's interesting, isn't it? They might still give Rashford the 10 if he's in the squad. Saka gets a 7, I would use Yeah, Saka yeah. will get the 7, I'd imagine. Because I think it uh, used to be Sterling would get the 7. Yeah, number yeah. 11's a good number as well, isn't it? Mm. 20 is iconic as well. Or Fod- Foden 47? Foden 47. Seven, yeah. Trent will be 66, I guess, maybe. <laughs> yeah, or well, you allowed them for You allowed high numbers for? No, I think it's 1 to whatever. Oh, is it literally? It's literally got to oh, be okay. 1 to 23 or 26. I'd love to see, like... Cole Palmer with 99 on the back. Yeah, same player. <laughs> Palmer, Cole 99. Palmer. Every Italian footballer has like 99 on their kit, so they probably yeah. try and do it. Yeah. What's, uh, let's see, we've had the kits. Now the kits, I think, almost covered everything, I think, actually. Yeah. Covered everything there. One thing I would say, though, just before, just before we talk about kits, that grey England kit from... What, from back in the day? From back in the day, I quite like that. Yeah, no. I Gascoigne vibes. Gascoigne, isn't it? yeah. Southgate missed penalty that one. Southgate yeah, missed penalty. Yeah. So yeah. David, Beck- David Beckham red card or was he in the home kit that one? Uh, I think that was in the home, yeah. the white one. Yeah, that was against Argentina, wasn't it? The yeah. old kits are so much better, aren't they? Yeah. Retro kits that, are so. Well, nice. that was when Umbro were good, and then like the 2010 Umbro era was awful. Did Swindon have Umbro as a sponsor for a bit? Um, I don't think so. I think yeah. we we had Adidas. We probably did back in the day, but yeah. recently we had Adidas around the FIFA oh, 10. Yeah, the FIFA, FIFA yeah. 10, 11, 12. Four four two. Yeah, then we went to and uh, then we went to Puma, uh, Puma where we are ah, now, okay, which is yeah. quite poor. Oh, I've got to Puma for quite a while. This is New Balance. You don't really see that one as often. Adidas. But it can't go wrong with Adidas. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Well, as mentioned, uh, any other kits as we mentioned off Belgium. Yeah, Belgium. Yeah, the oh, tin tin kit. That is. You'll have to put another picture of that. I will. In there. Put, I'm a we'll big fan of that one. Post production. <laughs> I, I would cop if, but oh, the only bad thing is. I think it looks good with the shorts, but I'm not buying the shorts. No, <laughs> yeah. full kit. Yeah, I find it quite weird with like international kits. Like obviously you've got club kits. You like you can collect them with international kits. People are more like, bit, I feel like people are a bit more like. I think it's the opposite, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I think if because obviously you've said that you've bought like a Millwall kit and stuff in the past, you get judged a lot more for that than you mm. would a Swedish. Bang out of order, personally. <laughs> it is kind of bizarre behaviour, but, but international short you money, you can do what you want. International, yeah, exactly. you can go with who you want because yeah, true, yeah. It were, Basic, well, England and Italy are my teams. So yeah. I probably would go for their kits over anyone else. But especially like South American teams, get like a, get like a naughty Brazil oh, kit. Oh, yeah. You, you, know get what, Brazil, you know what? You know what? I retract my statement. I take that all back. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. completely the other way around. Yeah, because I feel like, because you don't really, you wouldn't get judged for like turning up to like the Astro with like a Barcelona yeah. or like a Napoli yeah. shirt yeah. on. Yeah, if you had an 06 Brazil with Ronaldinho on oh. the back, you were like the coolest person ever. Like, Do you know, they're, they're, they're like, um, What's it called when they re like a not like a remake of yeah, a kit, yeah. but like a reproduction? There we go. Yeah. They're doing it of a uh, Ronaldo nine one. The two thousand and two. Yeah. Yeah, I saw something about that. Green yeah. on the, it's like yeah. bloke core with that and jorts in the summer. Yeah, turn everyone up, be wearing. Turn it. up to Barbican with that on. <laughs> yeah. Barracuda, you fit right in. Maybe that's it, mate. That is a that is a festival fit, really. It is. Well, it's going to be a festival probably. Colombia kits as well, something like that. James Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get, yeah get some cult players. Yeah, so yeah, there's a few other nice kits as well, but I think Belgium takes it. Yeah, Belgium. Mm. I think genuinely England's up there as well. I know, yeah. obviously, earlier in the year we were biased saying we thought Argyle had the best shirt of the 92. Biased again with England, maybe, but they are they are genuinely 
such unbelievable kits this year, I think. They've done really, really well. Nike, nice yeah. does again. <laughs> yeah, we have had a quite a few decent kits last the World Cup as well, not too bad. So. No, they were solid. I, don't yeah. know. Well, I wasn't quite what the one with the blue on the shoulder. I wasn't quite a fan of that one personally. Mm. But what was the away kit again? So it was just the red. red. One, wasn't it? Yeah, oh it was yeah, the red yeah, with yeah, the blue yeah. collar. I didn't yeah. mind it. It's just a bit Nike. I did like the collar. Thing. I was a mm. fan of the, the collar. The blue kit as well. We had the blue and the reds as well for the Euros. That was quite nice. With yeah, the, the collar. Yeah, yeah. So we've had some few decent kits. 2018, maybe not. They were template. Well, the, te- the 2018, it was like the training shirt that went viral. That should it? have been the kit. Yeah. Exactly. The, it was like the white with like the waves. Yeah, it gave me Oxo Chamberlain vibes that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a proper. Ross Barkley. Yeah. England. Proper and then good kit. The other Get one. him in the Euro squad. Ross That's Barkley. That's a good shout. You know, that Interesting. I wouldn't shirt. mind that. No. He's been all right, hasn't he? We so. could take away a winger and put an extra midfielder, couldn't you, really? Yeah. I don't think he will go, but I wouldn't mind it if he did. Yeah. To be honest, so that is the thing with England this year. We've got, we have actually got a really big pool of good players to pick from. Yeah, which hasn't. There's not many nowadays where if they were picked, sec- besides Henderson, that um, <laughs> we would all moan about mm-hmm. because they're all, they're all solid. And to be honest, even Henderson, to be honest, at least he's got experience, isn't he? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. start him, but if Southgate has to take him, then I'm not like too opposed because he's, opposed he's not either. an awful footballer, is he? I just don't really think he's done it's just much been, really it's since leaving Liverpool. Been in Saudi Arabia and getting called up is just. I'm not, obviously now he's in. With Ian Foster as well. He's oh, experienced Ian Foster. Mate, don't even stop. <laughs> we, we gonna Look, I'm glad I didn't have to. Like as soon as that Preston game ended, I was thinking, oh, it's 13 days until I've got to go to our guard again. <laughs> that was Thank a poor God. watch. Obviously, I went to that Tavi cancelled. Mate, shocking, wasn't it? But. We're not here to talk about Argyle today. No, we're not. Thank God, Thank God for that. It's international special. <laughs> uh, one thing so we've got to mention whilst we're here, the Wales versus Finland game yep. tonight. Um, I don't yep. know if it'll probably have already happened by the time we get this out. But yeah. Um, yeah. how are we feeling about Wales? They've got a pretty solid squad, haven't they, nowadays? I think they should be stronger than Finland. Stop yeah. Stronger than Finland, but I got like a, I, like, This is like the type of thing you'd imagine. They've got like a championship super squad, haven't they, really? Yeah, almost, yeah. I, I think totally like they've got agree. so many players in Leeds, obviously Swansea have yeah. still... They've got, got loads of Leeds players. In there? Uh, I think Liam Cullen got a call-up. The Diff uh, I think well. Ben Cabanga got a call-up as well. Yeah, Cardiff. Is Liam Cullen Welsh? Liam yeah. Cullen? Yeah, he's Welsh. Well, I don't know if he's actually Welsh. Yeah. No, he's Welsh, born in... Um, Kilgetty Tembi area, just well, like he is actually just, well. down, just down from Swansea. Oh mate, did you see that Local thing, lad. Ethan Ampadu, where he's like, I don't get why people don't say that I'm not oh, Welsh yeah. just because I wasn't born in Wales. Well, that's why you're not yeah. Welsh, Welsh, mate. <laughs> you weren't born no, in Wales. Because that's the funny thing with well, so a lot of Swansea fans. I see them; they complain about like a Union Jack a lot. Like uh. some some will take Union Jacks to games. They'll be like, oh, that's disgusting. And I'm like, if you think it's disgusting, fair enough. But at the end of the day, you're British. Yeah, exactly. So allow it. So there's, yeah. the, there's a Gareth Bale chant where it's like, Sturdy <laughs> broke his back. The Union Jack. Yeah. yeah. For Gareth Bale. Union Shout out Ryan with that one. He loves he loves yeah. the Gareth Bale. We at Union Jack, Wales are in it. Yeah. Yeah, Wales are Brit. You are if you're if you're from Wales. There you go. That's you're British. <laughs> no, they need to slap also the dragon the, on there. Also mate. in the, yeah, also in the EFL as well. So if you don't mm. want to be in the Union Jack, Newport, go and play in the Swansea. Yeah, Wrexham. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you could play in the Welsh League to be fair. Get the new Saints in there. <laughs> yeah, Some but gold. I mean, yeah, I think Wales got a good chance. Yeah. Having it, if they come up against Poland though, because Poland are the other side. Is Lewandowski still there? Yeah, but I th- he's not good for Poland though. No. He's good for. He doesn't deliver. Yeah, he I don't think he's never really done much internationally, has no, he? No, he hasn't. He'll no. he score against the weaker sides. Because they had that. In tournaments. They had the tournament, didn't they, where it was they were hosting in 2012. Yes. yes. And like it was like Lewandowski was like made out to be the star, and they just did nothing. Yeah. No, that was in the group where the Russia destroyed them. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. Jagowev, when he first came in and was like unbelievable, when I was like, he's going to be the player. Never happened for him at Russia. But no. No. Well, well, just they're not even allowed in anymore, are they? No, so. not the no. moment. Unfortunately. Just to finish off. Ukraine? I don't know. I'm not even sure. That's another one because I swear Israel were in um, the Euro. Have they been in the Euros before? They're in like the. They're in it. Did they qualify? I don't, I don't I honestly know. Would him, would they? Uh, Zander, can you quickly search that? <laughs> I'll, I'll quickly have a look now. What's, <laughs> what's we're here since we're talking about it? Because mm. in the playoffs as well, it's um, it's yeah. Who else, who else are in the playoffs? Because well, obviously Poland, Estonia. Yeah. So some teams haven't yet qualified for it, which is concerning. Like they do. Team. They've got a Euro playoff today. Okay. Genuinely, they're playing Iceland. Oh, they're in Iceland. Yeah. Oh God. They might be allowed in. <laughs> Imagine that. 
That'd be crazy. So there you go. There's another one for so today to watch out for. Or not? No, no Russia aren't. No, Russia, Russia have been banned. Russia have been banned from okay. playing. Russia have committed a lot of war crimes. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so they have. I don't think they would have qualified anyway. Ukraine? They're just playing friendlies. Um, they've got a friendly today. <laughs> Russia are playing today as well. Yeah. Gosh, shows our knowledge. Um, they're playing Paraguay. Serbia today. Yeah. And then Uruguay have got a Euro playoff as well today. <laughs> Mate, I tell you what, it's a good job we've got Some this. Some bad here. knowledge yeah. from us. Do you know, <laughs> it's an absolute baller special. for Ukraine, Dovbik. He's been yeah. doing absolute bits for Girona. Girona yeah. Mm. He's a player, and I, I, I've had him for a while. Sign him on a career mode for Argyle because he was he's a free, free agent. Artem Dovnik, oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Player. Kylo. So, Madrid. Yeah. Oh. Baller. <laughs> Zinchenko, no. Oh, Cry Zinchenko. merchant. No. Sy- Sykanov, is it? Sykanov, the right back, the right mid. He was from Girona, isn't he? He's all right. Yeah. Mm. So, him on career Ukraine mode. and Israel might both make it. Well, can they both make it? Because I'll probably end up coming up against. Yeah, probably. Ukraine, yeah. Israel, playoff <laughs> decider. That'll be mad. But anyway, two... Finish it off. Yeah. You got a fact of the week? I do not have a fact this week, unfortunately. Boo. But mm-hmm. 2022, England women did it. Last year, the under 21s did it. Are the men's team finally doing it this year? Are we winning they the Euros? They should, but they've got Southgate, so I don't think they will. Yeah, I think I'll say semi final and then probably lose to France. I, re- I really hate to say it. I think we could make it to the final and lose, but... Again. Yeah. I'm not going to say that we're going to win it because if we do, there's no chance of No, exactly. Mm-hmm. I just can't, I can't bring myself... It's like with Argyle last year, at the start of the season, yeah. it was like, can I bring myself to say I think we're going to go up? Literally, I thought we would finish like... Like, what was it? Because it was first and second went up, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought, I thought we might finish second or third, to be honest. I think you've just, it's just one of those things where you just have to see where it goes. Exactly. See how it goes. It's really hard. It's too early, I reckon. Yeah, I feel like whenever I predict <laughs> England to do well, it's just, it's never going to, it never works out, does it? And it depends on the route to the final. You said if we face France in the round of 16 or something yeah. like that, that's just so hard already. It's, it's game, it's game over, really. Mm. Exactly. It, it will be a tough tournament, but yeah. we have got a really strong squad. We should go deep. Um, yeah. But who knows? It's yeah. always impossible to tell with England and England under Southgate, who might be going to United as well, which is yeah, what lucky you United. Man United. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Jim Ratcliffe, this is a call to action. Please don't. I don't Please don't do it. I personally don't think he's built for club football. No, Southgate. he's not. I don't think he's built for football. <laughs> 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 he's not that good as a manager, and he's done well for England. Yeah. Then again. Oh, so if he wins the Euros, yeah, I guess so. If he wins the Euros. If he wins the Euros. Everyone go will be for it. Him. Yeah. Exactly. Southgate in, but for <laughs> now, Southgate out, and especially Foster out as well. <laughs> Foster out. <laughs> okay. Right. So is that all we've got time yeah, for? Yeah, that is all we've got time for. <laughs> Thanks for watching it again. Thank you from me. Thank you from Jamie. Thank you very much. Thank you from Luca. Thanks for Thank coming you. on, man. No worries. Always enjoy coming on this podcast. So, and you can actually see me in person now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, we're also going to look at getting some um, watch alongs getting going yeah. soon. I'll be a big. So, very keen to get you along for them. Definitely, mate. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>